Welcome to another Demarcation Media Dusted Off video. So, Recreation Part 2 was supposed to have come out already. It was supposed to be last month's Dusted Off, I believe. Um, but there was a few hitches. First and foremost was the fact that this project is so much bigger than I first thought. Uh, like, I knew it was going to be a big, tough project, but it's a lot more difficult and involved than I originally anticipated. So it's taking longer for me to actually edit the picture um, and record me editing the picture. So it's coming. I promise it's still coming, but it's going to be a little bit delayed. And then on top of that, my whole family got hit with COVID and that meant I couldn't go out and upload because my internet is not suitable for uploading videos. Long story there. But basically, I have to go out to places like the library to upload videos, and I couldn't do that while, you know, COVID was in the house. So that also made me miss an entire month for Dust It Off. But everyone in my family is fine now. There were no lasting effects from COVID. The work on Recreation Part 2 is going. It's just slow. So in the meantime, I've been requested or I've been asked multiple times how do I make my Spartan visors glow in my photos? And a couple people have requested that I make a video on it, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. In most of my photos, uh, if there's a Spartan, I'll make the visor glow. Or even a Marine, I'll sometimes make the Marine visors glow just because it looks cool, even if it's not very game accurate, or like the Elite Ultra eyes glow, that sort of thing. And it's a really easy process. It's way more simple than it might seem. So I'm going to be just walking you through that today. We have me right here and then a Scorpion Punch Mark 7 as well as a Banshee. And I used these for a photo that we're going to be editing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the editing process and just kind of tell you what I do there. And then hopefully you'll be able to do it yourself after this. So we've got our photo, and the first thing we're going to do is go and grab the brush tool. Then we'll create a new layer. Then we're gonna get gray. Gray is gonna be our base for the visor. We're just going to zoom in, and then we are going to cover the whole visor in gray. So we're just gonna outline the whole thing. Just match the edge like so and then we're just going to fill it in completely because we want the entire visor covered then we're going to change the blending mode of this to color dodge a couple others sometimes work but color dodge works pretty consistently then we need to blur it otherwise it's going to be a little weird so we're going to blur it and that kind of adds extra light over the whole visor then we are going to get orange and we're going to make a new layer and we are going to do pretty much the same thing just cover the whole visor in orange or kind of it's kind of more of a gold but we're going to go ahead cover the whole visor just like we did with the gray fill in the whole thing and then we're going to change the blending mode now this varies from picture to picture there's no like solid one to say yes this one works this one doesn't so we're just gonna find whichever one looks the best and then we're gonna blur it as well because that's what gives the kind of glow look is the fact that it's feathered on the edges we're gonna make a new layer and now we need white because this is going to be our inner glow kind of the the light that shows that there's a source of it coming from kind of the center we're gonna blur that. We're not gonna change the blending mode. We're just gonna blur it. But I kind of made it too long, so we're gonna have to redraw it. Because again, we want this just to be the center. Let's try the blur again. There we go, that's getting close. Now it gives the visor some depth. Turn it down a little bit. We don't want the white to be overpowering. So now, change that a little bit more yeah that looks pretty good 
go. Now we've got another Spartan in the background that we need to do the same thing to. So we're gonna get the gray, and the gray is our base coat. I always do the gray because when you change it to the color dodge blending, it creates this weird white patch. And then if you blur it, it looks like light. We're gonna do the orange again. And you wanna make sure you're doing all of this on separate layers or else it will not work. Change the blending mode. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna blur it. You can use either box blur or Gaussian blur depending on what you want the edges to look like. Now I'm looking at it, I kind of want the blue Spartan visor to be the same color orange as the other guy. I want my visor to be a darker orange. So I'm gonna actually redo that orange. We're gonna use the same darker orange and draw back over it, same as we've done before. Color it in. There we go, then blending. Yeah, that's more like it. That makes the visor pop a lot more. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Well, there you go. That is how you make a Spartan visor glow. Like I said, super, super easy. Literally just drawing some shapes on and doing some blending and blurring. So really, really easy. You can do this for not only visors, but lights as well. So like if you have a Spartan with lights on the armor, you can do that. Um, you can kind of do it a little bit for muzzle flares. I'll do a separate video um, at some point showing how to do muzzle flares, but that kind of just can help with adding light with that. So there you go. Hopefully this helped and you'll be able to make your own Spartans have their glowing visors. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.